Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello friends, uh, in this video we are planning for parametric study and optimization of a single pass parallel flow heat exchanger. It is a shell tube type heat exchanger. In this CFD analysis we found that its initial temperature of hot water was 100 degrees centigrade and at the exit level its temperature has come down to 89.75 degrees centigrade. Similarly, initial cold water temperature was 20 degrees centigrade and finally at the exit level its temperature is 40.9 degrees centigrade and LMTD is value is 64.28. Now what we are planning for optimization is initially we will see that at different input variables what will be the value of this LMTD. Finally after having some idea about this LMTD with input variables we can go for optimization. Now as an input variable we can take a lot of things like hot water temperature, cold water temperature, the mass flow rate etc we can say we can vary but in our optimization we are planning to have control over the temperature of coolant. So what we are planning is we are planning to reduce the temperature from 20 degrees to 10 degrees centigrade and see the difference of LMTD values right. So next one we are going for uh, parametric study and optimization it will come from solve new parametric study and from here we will see design of experiments and optimization. In, in this optimization we are planning to optimize the value of LMTD only as what we got as an equation goal that to be optimized and for optimization we have to depend on input variables. Now we have decided to have the input variable as temperature of cold water to be reduced with a specific range you will see. Okay. So let us see those variables. These variables will come from boundary conditions. We'll see the second one is actually mass flow rate of coolant and what we'll do is we'll change the temperature of this coolant we can decrease the temperature with a specific range mass flow rate was 0.5 kg per second that one we're not changing we're changing the temperature of cold water only okay so range check and you have to define this range Let us have the temperature to be from 5 degrees centigrade to 15 degrees centigrade. Let's see the scenario. It has taken 5 numbers of experiments and let us create those experimentations and we can vary this input temperature also of cold water. It has decided uh, different ranges of input temperatures 12.5 we can change it let us make it 12 degrees centigrade second one will be 7 degrees centigrade we have taken five different temperatures of cold water 12 degrees centigrade 7 15 10 and 5 degrees centigrade with these different values of temperatures of cold water we want to find out lmtd value okay output parameter that is dependent on goal we have lot of goals but we want to have only LMTD to be calculated. We can have all these things but our main aim is to see the variation of LMTD with the change of coolant. Okay. So green check and scenario we have already decided. We have already created. Let us run this experimentation. The study has already been initiated. It will take long time for getting all the results let the iterations move on solver window has finished its iterations we conducted uh, five set of experiments temperatures ranging from 5 to 15 degrees centigrade experiment number one was with temperature 12 degrees centigrade second experiment seven third one 15 fourth one 10 and the last one has five degrees centigrade so we conducted different experiments at different temperatures ranges at 12 degrees centigrade uh, lmtd we got 93.97 at 7 degree centigrade we got 136.23 at 15 degree centigrade we got 66.08 at 10 degree centigrade we got 135.27 and at 5 degree centigrade we got 66.55 these are the LMTD values so at different temperatures we got different values of LMTDs so you can see here 
the relation of temperature and LMTD is not linear. Uh, it is varying in a different way from this data obtained from this parametric study. We can go for optimization. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.